I'm in here between his legs, and his legs are open just like this. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop both hands underneath his legs, and I'm gonna pick a side. Whatever side I pick, I'm gonna drop my shoulder. I'm gonna drop my shoulder. If I come to this side, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop my shoulder, I'm gonna spall the opposite leg back, I'm gonna drop my shoulder under his arm. Then I'm gonna come across his hips, and I'm gonna lock my hand in tight to his hips, okay? The other hand, what it's going to do is it's going to come up and hug the hips here. So I, I, I'm controlling this hip with this hand, I'm controlling this hip, the other hip with the other hand. Then I'm going to start driving my center line into his leg. As I drive, I'm going to start walking, 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 and I'm going to bring his hips up and pin his hips up with my, my knee. From this position, I'm going to keep this tight. I'm going to switch the hand from here to his shoulder. I'm going to push my chest forward until his leg passes over. Once his leg passes over, I'm going to look to hug his head and then drop his legs to the mat. Okay? Again, he's in the open guard. Both of my hands shoot in behind his legs. I, whatever side I pick, the opposite leg is going to shoot back. I'm going to drop my shoulder down to the mat and I'm going to get his leg up on my shoulder. Once I do, the hand's going to come across his hips. The other hand's going to come and hug this hip. I'm going to drive my weight forward. I'm going to walk his hips up. And then my knee is going to come right under his butt and pin, pin his hips up in the air. From here, the hand's going to transfer to his shoulder. I'm going to push my pressure on him with my chest to his legs drop. And then I can hug his head. Okay? One more time. Hands go behind the legs. Shoot, drop the, drop the shoulder down. I'm going to walk, walk his hips up. Hand comes across to the, uh, the shoulder. Pressure, and then hug the head.